Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from Alex Merced Coder, and this is the third video in this overview of Sinatra. In this video, we're going to be talking about the request object and how we can access the request object. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a post route to slash do. Okay, and we're going to say content type JSON. Okay, and what we're going to do is that the request should be coming from here. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to just try, I don't think I can do this, but let's try it out to JSON. I'm going to try to turn that to JSON. So we can take a look at what's in there. Okay, and so let's do that. Okay, and let's start our server. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Make this a post request. Okay, and it's just saying it's Sinatra request object that's pointing to that address. So it's there. Okay, let's try to see what happens if we try to connect to the request body. Okay, so let's start the server again. Control C. Now let's see what happens now. Okay, it's a string IO object. Okay, so I think we need to read the object first. So I think we need to do body dot read then dot to JSON. Let's see if that works. Control C. Let's restart the server. Okay, and there we go. So there's the JSON data. See, we have the key of username with Alex or said what's inside of our body. Password pineapple. Okay, cool. So again, if you just want to get the body data, that's kind of how you would do it. So basically, um, read to JSON. Okay. And let's see here. I wonder if I can see the headers that way. Headers dot read. Let's see here. I'm not sure if the headers is actually under that section, but let's take a look. Method now, method error. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there is a headers section. So the headers must be somewhere else in the request object. Now, if you go to the Ruby docs or the Sinatra docs, it'll show you where all the, the request stuff is. Like, it's all the way down here. Uh, there we go. So this shows you sort of all the request stuff request.pour, request.body, request.query string. Request some pram, value some pram, it is a shortcut too. That kind of cuts off. Cookies, HXHR, URL, path, IP. All that good stuff. And then here's an example of like accessing the body. Request that body, hello. And then you have to kind of do that to get the value out of it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other real sort of pertinent, valuable stuff. So basically, that's kind of how you would get information from a request. So that way, you can get into your database. Aside from that, it's just now really kind of connecting to your database, which you know just depends on what database ORM or drivers you use, which could be different depending on how you decide to build your application. Kind of like Express, there's not one really one way to do that. But now you know the sort of the core functionality of being able to, you know, create routes, send back responses, and either as JSON as a template or as static files. Okay, um, yeah, then that's pretty much the main functionality uh, you'd want to know in any web framework up front so you can actually start getting some stuff built. Um, the rest you can kind of learn little by little. Uh, I recommend you start doing some basic templating and bas making a basic website just to see, see how it goes. Uh, read up on some ERB um, and then just kind of go deeper and deeper down the Sinatra rabbit hole and you can create some pretty nice, super fast, uh, cool applications. So my name is Alex Merced from Alex Merced Coder. Have a great day and enjoy.